Warning, this video does contain constant stuttering, so viewer discretion is advised. Before the video starts, I just want to say that subtitles are available. So if I misspell or mispronounce a word, make sure you have subtitles, subtitles on just in case. Also, be sure to follow me on my socials, which will be linked in, this, in the description below. Thanks for listening and enjoy this video. Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is The Horseman and today we will be looking into the new Michael Jackson biopic. And no, I'm not talking about the highly anticipated MJ biopic starring Jafar Jackson that will be premiering in spring 2025. No, apparently there is another. And I follow Jesus. Hello. What the hell is even that? A new film about Michael Jackson will be screened at the famous Cannes Film Festival in May 2024. A Gift from God, directed by Liana Marabini and starring Joshua Cons Consigli, will focus on the faith and spiritual life of the King of Pop. Delving beyond his iconic performances, the film explores Jackson's profound spiritual journey and his quest for a deeper connection with God. From his upbringing as a Jehovah's Witness to his, his exploration of various, of various religious practices, the movie sheds light on Jackson's evolving spiritual beliefs. In an article from Monte Carlo Living, it reads, quote, Having shunned the religion of his youth, the Jehovah's Witnesses, Michael Jackson sought spiritual guidance by immersing himself in religious texts such as the Torah, the Quran, and various Eastern philosophies. He also practiced Catholicism and deeply admired Pope John Paul II. Yes, that John Paul. So he dedicated a painting he made in tribute to the Pope, which will be revealed for the first time in the film. According to Marabini, director of the film, the film highlights Michael's love of art, culture, and books, illustrating how these experiences influence his art and outlook on life. She also adds Michael's love of classical music is also expressed throughout the film's soundtrack, which features a mix of opera, Bach concertos, and the groundbreaking pop symphony by French composer Jean-Marie Benjamin, who wrote it specifically for this movie. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. The flex effect, if you know what I mean. Now, before you start bashing the film, believe me, I'm highly skeptical of this film as well. Keep in mind, this is an independent movie, so don't expect to see something epic or spectacular like the Michael biopic. I recently watched the trailer last week, and it's not bad if you ignore its budget. I can't get that image out of my head. What the hell the is even that? Yeah. Okay, it's pretty bad. God awful even, no pun intended. But the only bad thing about it is the budget and how the actor looks. And when you think about it, it's really hard finding the right actor that can embody the person they're portraying, especially if it's Michael. Whether through appearances, whether how they look, how they act, um, it, it's really hard to find the right actor. And I'm sure it was hard for the estate to find the right actor to play Michael before they settled with Jafar. As for the budget, like I said earlier, it's an independent movie at the end at the end of the, at the end of the day, so don't expect too much in the film. A Gift from God will premiere at the Cannes Film Festival sometime this month and will probably be uploaded to YouTube later this year. I'll be sure to keep my eye out on the film movie and, I, and, I, and I'll be sure to give you all a review of the film. In the meantime, the trailer for A Gift from God is available on YouTube if you want to see it. Well folks, that's the end of today's video. I hope I was able to keep you all informed. This video was made at the last minute so I apologize for it being so short. Be sure to leave a like and comment some suge some suggestions for my next video, and be sure to, to subscribe and ring the bell icon so you won't so you won't miss my latest videos. Thanks for watching. And I will see you all in the next one.